Most cars on the road today are equipped with seat belts, but it is clear that many people choose not to use them. No, we don't like seat belts, but we use them part of the time. But more and more people are using seat belts these days. We're a seat belt wearing family. I've never used them Why is that? until recently because a friend of mine got me into using them, and now my daughters are, are getting me started on it. And I think it's a very good thing. We estimate here in just in Arizona, we could eliminate at least half of our traffic fatalities just by wearing seat belts. We could also reduce a great number of our accidents where there's injuries involved if people were in seat belts. There's, there's too many accidents that are happening where occupants as well as drivers are being thrown into the dashboards or ejected out of the car. Now, honestly, I don't uh, use them too often, but uh, what we do use is I've got two kids and we have the child restraint seats. And so we always make sure they're buckled up. But as far as myself, to be honest, I don't use them too often. Arizona's child restraint law was changed last year to allow officers to stop cars in which young children are not restrained. She's the first one to get the seat belt on. It's a regulation on base to have seat belts, so we just more or less became a, a habit to put on seat belts. Some experts say that whether or not you use a seat belt can determine the extent of your injuries in an accident, or in some cases, whether you live or die. The state Supreme Court has ruled that the use or non-use of seat belts can determine the amount of money you receive in a personal injury lawsuit. Some say that the ruling is good and that those people who don't buckle up should be held at least partially responsible for injuries they receive. But others say it violates the constitutional rights of those who choose not to use seatbelts, at least until such a law is on the books. I think it's going to cause a lot of people to start thinking a little bit more as they travel or drive a car that if they are injured, there's going to be consequences they're going to pay for not wearing the seatbelt. The Arizona legislature is expected to consider a mandatory seatbelt law for the state this year, expanding the current law beyond children to the general population.